does DC Crew stand for? DC actually stands for where I'm from. D, Dominican, and C, Cuban. And yes, I am half and half. Um, I'm Dominican because I was born in Dominican Republic in Santo Domingo. I came when I was seven. And my father's actually Cuban. Before I was the age of seven, I had already been to Cuba three times. So I definitely consider myself a person of, my, of both my countries. Growing up, I always had this obsession with music. Um, I think it actually came because my dad was a singer in Cuba. He, he was in this band called Las Arenas Blancas. And I mean, he, it was his life. He toured all over Cuba. He was on the radio over there. Um, he did festivals, everything. And it just, it's, it's a big passion. my adventures sometimes it's a little bit of my reality mixed with fantasy because at the end of the day we all live in our own little fantasy world actually it's titled Protogena Protogena and people are like why would you name your first album something so complicated why because I feel like it you know it stands for for something that I believe in Protogena actually means primordial God and why, why that's important to me and why I named my album that is because with my music I want people to feel good feel happy I want them to find their inner protos I want them to to experience self-fulfillment and I feel that through self-fulfillment is how you find the God or Goddess in you um, my sign my, my zodiac sign is Aquarius and in Greek myth Aquarius was from the planet Uranus and Uranus is actually um, one of the first primordial gods in Greek mythology so that's kind of where everything ties in with the storyline of my album title and just how throughout my entire storyline and promo for this album you can really see it there's this white haired dude that just continues to pop out in all my videos and I think that's the proto in me you know the first single that I released off this album was Te Digo I released it last year with Joe Martin which is my producer for the album and Te Digo pretty much is this reggaeton pop track The Digo is just a combination of my craziness. Um, I wanted to do something for my Hispanic people, you know, not just my Cubans and Dominicans, but all my Latinos out there. Porque los quiero tanto ustedes. Then we have Real Love, which Real Love was the second one that I released. And Real Love is pretty much, it's very all-American pop track. It kind of reminds you, it's very freestyle. A lot of people that listen to it, they're like, whoa, DC, you have such a freestyle vibe. Um, I definitely try to encompass that in a lot of my music because it's just something that comes naturally to me. Real Love, to me, doesn't matter if you're black, white, pink, gray, blue, orange, I mean, at the end of the day, love who you love, be with who you want to be with, don't hurt anybody, and don't hurt yourself, and you're good, that's real love, equality, equal. One of my favorite things to do when I'm not working on my music is definitely to cook. I love to cook for my friends and family. Um, 
it's just something that I've always loved. I I love putting my love into the food and for people to just feel it, you know, like there's a they say that cooking with love, you can't taste it. And you know what? Whoever says that is somebody that's never tasted a meal that's been cooked with love. And if you haven't, come over here, I'll cook it for you. You say you ready, what? You say you ready, what? So I actually have three singles currently out for my album. I have Te Digo, Real Love, and DJ Don't Stop. DJ Don't Stop being um, the one that I just recently released is really close to me because I feel that being a fellow Miami or um, I pretty much have grown up in Miami. The nightlife really has shaped a lot of my musical inspirations especially in the last couple of years. I definitely feel that DJ Don't Stop speaks to that crowd. I also, it has this bilingual touch on it because I feel it's very important, especially again in a place like Miami, there's so many cultures that blend them to one. And like my music, I am many cultures in one. You know, my, in my album you can find everything from rock, dance, hip hop. I mean, I even have a ballad. You, I want everyone can enjoy something off the album. That thing is really important. And with DJ, I really feel that it, it encompasses that, you know? So you guys should definitely check it out. The video is coming soon. And I'm actually at the location right now. I just finished shooting, so enjoy. My good friend's house, which she lent us to shoot this video, has this beautiful kitty, her name's Morgana, and I think that she wants to say hello, guys. Come here, Morgan. Oh, check this out, guys. Hi, Morgan. All right, all right. That's honestly what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about, I want to eat and I want to play with the cat. I mean, I just, I love her. <laughs> manager or that I'm already signed and I'm actually I'm not I'm not signed yet but I guess it just means that I've been carrying myself the right way and thanks to that I I booked a lot of gigs in the last two three years I booked a lot of community gigs I booked a lot of like fundraisers and things like that and I love it I love to go to the community I love to go out there and give a show to my fans to me you're not a singer, you're not an artist, if you can't give a show. I do all kinds of shows. I do shows with dancers, I do shows on my own. I think it's very important to showcase that you not only can do a show, like, where it's entertaining and you have the dancers and the music and the... You know, but that you can sit there one-on-one -on -one with your audience and relate to them. That's that's very important to me. And I'm looking forward now with my new album that comes out in February to go out there and meet everybody, you know? Like, here, listen to the music, hear me live, hear my interpretation of it. During my performances, I definitely want to project a sense of happiness, a sense of being in the moment. It's very hard for people nowadays to live in the moment with stresses of life and just everything going on, you know, in the world. Um, like, yeah, I'm like, you know? Like, um, 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 like, 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 um, 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 oh, 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 no, I'm not. I scared the cat. Um, Hey guys, my name is DC Cruz and you're watching my EPK.